it's Ro here from You Grow Ro. Thank you for visiting my channel. If this is your first time, I hope you'll consider subscribing at the end of this video. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you. As you can see, I got a new gadget. This is the Vitamix Food Cycler FC50. Woo! <laughs> Uh, recently, um, Amazon had a good sale on it. I think I got it for two seventy five. I want to say, uh, but I've been looking at this for over a year. Um, I just didn't want to pay what it was, what they were wanting for it. <laughs> and let me be clear, two seventy five is still very expensive. If you ask me, uh, oh, also, I want to say nobody needs this. Nobody needs this. This is just because I want to have it. Nobody needs this. Composting outside or bokashi or for free, however you do it, is still totally fine. Nobody needs a $300 countertop food waste recycler. Because it's not technically compost. Oh boy. Comfy clothes. Mm, 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 mm. Who's this? Jerry St. Phil. Mm, mm, mm. When he was pretending to be Elvis, I think. Anyways. Uh, let's crack this bad baby open. Unlock. Here's our lid. Came with this here which I believe is the lid to the inner bucket, <clears throat> which can also become the outer bucket. Please remove before use. Okay. Please remove before use. Okay. Pull the bucket out. That's heavy. Oh, so that's what I was gonna tell you guys before. Um, what's surprising to me is how heavy this thing is and how big it is. <laughs> this is not light and it is not small. Um, it, this is not small at all. I'm gonna have to find a, like a side table or something to put this on because it's not gonna fit on my counter. My, um, my uh, cabinets come down too far. So this is gonna have to be standalone somewhere in the dining room or in the kitchen behind you guys one or the other um okay so let's remove the sticker please remove before use all right so that's all the stickers <clears throat> okay Don't know what these are. All right, where, are, I was gonna say, where are instructions? <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the parts here. We got, yep, the collection lid with the filter on the back. We got the processing lid. We got two filter caps. We got the bucket. I'm not seeing any K. What is K? Food tab foodalyzer tablets sold separately. Oh. I didn't get that. <laughs> I did not get the food tablet, foodalizer tablets. Okay, uh, seems pretty easy. On the front here, we got four lights. There is change filter, there's cooling, there's grinding, and there's drying plus the power button. You got your symbols for unlock and lock. 
name of the product up here. Now, let's see. Remove the back panel, grip the plastic tab, blah, 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 blah. Remove the white stickers, okay. Okay, so this is the back side, and they're telling me to take this tape off and to pull, um, I'm really excited about this. Um, it's so crazy because what I ended up starting to do recently was, as you know, I get more fruit than I know what to do with myself. So I uh, started dehydrating it and I was going to use it to call it um, fertilizer for my plants, which is basically what this is, right? Like this is just going to heat things up. Um, grind them then go through a like a cooling because it gets hot in there is what I understand and then go through a cooling process and then you're left with your your mixture your dehydrated ground up products there we go all right so they say take this back cover off And remove the two. Remove this sticker. These are the, what are they calling these? Those two are the carbon filters. I went online to see how much these filters cost. These filters are supposed to last, I believe they said three months each, you know, three months at a time. Sorry, not three months each, because you need two, uh, but three months at a time. Okay, three months. So those two carbon filters in there should last me three months, depending on how much I use it. And let's be clear, I plan on running this thing twice a day, <laughs> especially with the new gadget. Oh yeah, I'm putting this thing to work. Um, so three months to get another two is $25 right now, and that's 13% off on Amazon. Okay, turn it back around. I think we got all the paper out. Okay. Remove the white stickers, blah, blah, blah. Replace the back panel. Remove the bucket. Add your food waste to the bucket. Do not add food directly into the machine without the bucket installed in the food installer. Duh. You can add food waste to the bucket throughout the day until the bucket is full. Do not fill the bucket above the max fill line. To ensure optimal food waste breakdown, mix waste food together with heavier foods interspersed with lighter, drier foods. Avoid high concentrations of the following foods. The dense, starchy, and or moisture-rich composition of these foods make them difficult to process in large quantities. Starches such as bread, cake, rice, pasta, mashed potatoes, stuffing, citrus fruit rinds, condiments, dressings, sauces and soups, nut butters, jams, jellies, marmalades, high sugar fruits like grapes, cherries, melons, oranges, bananas, etc. Do not cycle large bones such as pork or beef bones. Pits, candy, gum, nuts, or hard shells. These materials may cause serious damage to the bucket and or cause a motor overload. Do not add oil, flammable materials, or compounds or water to the food cycler. When the bucket is not in use you, and you are adding food waste, use the collection lid to reduce the amount of off-putting smells. Okay. All right, guys, we are gonna run a cycle. Uh, I cleaned out my refrigerator a couple weeks ago after the holiday. And so 
I don't really have anything to put in there. Um, so we're just going to make some content to put in there. <laughs> Here's our bucket. I have some bananas. And I know they said don't put a lot in there. So uh, to me, that just means don't run one cycle just full of bananas. So I got the spinach here. I'm just going to chop it up into pieces. Uh, this came with my Misfit Markets order. And <clears throat> it was it was done when I got it. I was not pleased. I actually contacted them about that. Uh, they were very nice. All right, and then also with that was this cilantro that was not too pretty. So that. The other thing I was thinking was if you didn't want to replace the filter as often as every three months, couldn't you just do this outside then? You know, you know what I mean? Just do it outside. And then you ain't gotta worry about the smell. We'll see, I don't know. Now, <clears throat> it says you can do bones, but not like big old bones. Not what you're using to make your stock with. Speaking of bones, I got some really big uh, beef bones in the freezer right now. Ooh. Here, we'll put in another layer to here. Top it with some more banana nanner. I don't drink coffee, and so uh, I don't have coffee grounds to put in here. And I make my own tea, so I don't don't have a whole lot of tea bags to put in just yet either. Um, but let's see. All right, so there's a max fill line somewhere. Ooh, I'm almost there. All right. Just gonna throw the rest of this in because um, I chopped it and I got nowhere to put it. I don't wanna leave it sitting out because that's gross. <laughs> now, if this was um, just like any random day, I would keep this bucket on my counter and then just add what I'm gonna add and then put this on, put this lid on it and keep it out on the counter until I get it all filled up. And then once I get it filled up, I'll take this off and move the whole bucket to the system. I got some eggshells. Ah! So I'm just gonna throw those in there too. All right, so we got eggshells, spinach, cilantro, and banana. All right, now we're gonna move that to the food cycler. All right, so here we are. Take our lid off. We have our bucket and we're gonna line it up. There's an arrow here. And then I'm gonna line it up with this arrow here. Ta-da! Then I'm gonna put my top on. lock whoops okay food cycler 
Now we're just gonna do a power on. All right, I think that's it and we just let it rip. Let's see. It is currently 6.17 p.m. on, what is this, Tuesday, January 17th. Here we go. Yeah, Tuesday, January 17th, 6.17 p.m. We'll see how long it takes. I'll be back in some hours. Hopefully it won't be like midnight because I'll be asleep by then. <laughs> But if that's the case, we'll just take a look at it tomorrow when I get home from work. All right, YouTube, it is the next morning. It may have went off at a reasonable hour. I think we started it at seven something, no, six, 15, I can't remember. Um, And it might've been down at a decent hour, but I fell asleep around 9.30. <laughs> so who knows? I'll have to watch it next time. Uh, but let's check out and see how those uh, spinach, cilantro, egg, and banana scraps did in the food cycler. So first thing I want to point out is that on the back of the unit, it says caution, hot steam. I saw that. It did not register. This is where those um, two filters are for the... Uh, carbon pellets uh, filters um, but anyways the covers for the filters anyways uh, a lot of steam was coming out of here so I had to turn it away from the wall um, I don't know if you can see where it was steaming at that came down this whole wall was just dripping water so keep that in mind when you get yours if you get one um, you're going to need to be able to have that backside out. I wouldn't have it against anything. Okay. All right. So let's turn this thing around so we can see inside. All right. Unlock. Didn't smell bad at all. Right, here's our finished product. That's what came out of that batch. Look inside. Not completely broke down, but far less volume than what we started out at. Uh, very, very dry. I'm not mad at this. This is about what I expected. You can still see pieces of the eggshells as well. Um, at the top there, you see the piece of banana. So, round one. All right, it is two days later and I'm at work as you can see, but I wanna wrap up this video. It was super easy to put together. So far, I like it. I've run it twice now, and I intend on doing a wrap-up video shortly here. So be on the lookout for that. But for now, that's all I got for you. I'll be back in a couple days with a review.